Yeah, 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 yeah. So all of that is there. But they also, as, as we know, FHA has had some, a, a, a hand in the oppression of black people. We know that, especially when it comes to housing disparity um, and discrimination. But you also have to, um, everything you're saying, I agree with. I'm ready to get on board. But you also, too, have to be able to break that down to the vast of the community who are not economically educated. So now when we're talking about this, this finance part piece, when we're talking about it, I want you to go in and, and talk to other people and dialogue on it. You don't necessarily have to agree with everything you're not saying in here, but you can't negate the fact that there's a viable solution. It, it works as a plan. It, it can work if it has wheels. I already provide the body for it. But it's, if, we, if we can get the wheels, which is everybody in here, it's going to work. And, and next, it can't. Next to Angela is pizza. Yeah, that, that, that was a former uh, credit union there. Mm -hmm. and that's how we set up. And, and it's probably going to go in here and do some interior exterior. Oh, that's all. But that, that was a former credit union That's there. all it takes. So that's a place right there. That's why you credit union. Cool that's why credit so unions are a good idea. Because you don't need much to do it. And we, you don't need now. Of course, we want it to look good because as, we, as the beginning step two, we talked about aesthetics and how it looks. So we want it to look good. We want it to look professional. We want it to look like an actual financial institution. We want it to appear that way when people uh, come in. So the initial deposit, the initial investment of $1 million is going to be 40%, which the 400K, to uh, invest. To, for risk, when I talk about FHA, a lot of people get FHA loans, especially black people, um, so that the bank can, uh, is, the government can uh, provide some assistance if, if the loan should default. Right. So the bank is, the, the government is actually bad for the bank, you know, print money out of thin air that they really don't have. And backing this bad housing market, but I say take FHA completely out of it. People say, well, you can't do that. That's but why can't you? Well, so when you say mitigate the well, two questions. When you say mitigate the risk, just I know you're explaining it, but I'm not. Okay. This is not dropping in terms of what really that is, and then where's the other 60%? Okay. I'm going to so, so when we talk about mitigate risk, we're talking about people who may not necessarily. Uh, or not need to underwrite, basically, right? No, there's a risk involved in um, investment. So if 40 to 400 percent goes into a mutual fund for credit. And say the market doesn't go too well, you know that four hundred dollars can turn into two fifty easily. For sure. So, but it can also turn into an additional million easily as well. You put that one million dollars into a, a, a reservation for other for other deal for other things you want to do. So when we talk about mitigate risk, we have to have some reserves because what if our one okay, of our reserves? Yes, reserves is what I mean. Okay. You want to be you want to generate enough money in a mutual fund or whatever other investments we have to put in a reservation so if anything, any one of our projects should fail, we have the money easily available. Nobody will be able to come in and take it away from I guess. So when we talk about the rest of the 60%, I propose that, uh, what was that, uh, 400,000? We use 300,000 to extend long terms. Now when I talk about uh, housing terms, so when I talk about housing, and I talk about that identified space that we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, take care of. When I talk about that, one of the reasons why I consider East Cleveland is because we don't have one property. You got huge homes. And I'm telling you, it may be nice. You might just squeeze three or four folks in that house and be comfortable. But if you sleep over here, you can get six, seven people. What do our families look like? Six, seven people. You know, so, you know, let's just be realistic about it. We got six, seven people. I got three kids. Wait, yeah. We got six, seven people in our family. Some of us family, single mother homes, we got five children, four children. How are we going to live in a, in a, in a, in a three-bedroom in right. Bangle Heights somewhere? Like, yeah, you know, I have, we have received that's because we have been conditioned to work that way, you know. This is what we got. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. But it don't have to be that way if we pulled our resources together in the night. So when I said the $300, here's the terms that I would cost the $300,000. This is, um, is that 400 
Yeah, yeah. No, we have three hundred. Three hundred choices in long term. Yeah, long, long term. So when I talk about how long, long, long term. So when I talk about long, um, like I said, the reason why I uh, consider these people is because the house, the housing market here could be strong. We can make it from strong with the influx that I've talked about previously. But you can easily buy a ten thousand dollar home, twenty thousand dollar home, nice. If you fix it up, right? So I know I had to drink from Rosalind for seventy five. You can do that, right? You can do that, right? It was moving to Liverpool. You don't have to buy it that way to consider it. We acquired four two families for two grand. What I'm just saying, I'm just giving I'm just giving it. What's going on? What what I'm just telling you, you know, I down where I live. They are just buying all the houses. Yeah, you don't, it's, it's you don't have to purchase like that. So when you do, so when you're doing this, when you're doing a, so for instance, so for instance, what the credit union would do, it would, it would, it would have a community development component to it. Usually, you don't see community development components with the credit union. You don't see that, and, you, and I wonder why. But it needs to be that. With the black credit union, you have to have that. You have to because have because that is a separate pool of dollars. It's a separate pool of dollars that you absolutely have, have to do. Have you have to have. have. So what I propose is this: if a company, if a, say we get hypothetically a ten thousand dollar home, get a ten thousand dollar home up there, the community development portion of the you credit union would purchase that home from that reserve, the three hundred thousand I just talked about. You purchase that home, do whatever that. Whatever necessities things get it livable, make it look nice aesthetically, like we talked about. And you can come, you always use it as an example. You can come in and get a loan. Say I sell it to you for $30,000. Right? That's a deal. That's a steal. Because you, I don't know if this is your situation, I'm just going to put it like you're a single mom, maybe you're two or three children, you need to get a home, and you see this developing black community, you're conscious, and you want to be a part of it. So you say, yeah, I'll invest. I'll get a thirty thousand dollar home. That don't sound too bad. What's that three hundred dollars a month? What I propose is this: that once we do the twenty thousand k, the twenty k, and fixing uh, up the place and selling to her, we give her, we give it to her on terms that are affordable to her. Absolutely. So we are. I'm going to say this piece real, really quickly before I go into it. DTI income and debt to income income ratio are ways that. White America discriminates against yes, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. So when we when I say give you that loan for 30 grand, I'm gonna give it to you because you got a 560 credit score. And I'm gonna give it to you at maybe five, six percent. Absolutely. And anything else that I get from there goes back into the reserves to help another sister out who's like you, another family out who's like you. So that's what that three hundred thousand dollars goes towards. The rest of the remaining two hundred thousand dollars goes to land acquisition. When we talk about land, we talk about agriculture, we talk about development, because believe me you, when we start this project, it's going to be very attractive. Mm -hmm. And if the Jewish want in on it like you talked about it, they're going to have to pay. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to pay. And guess what happens when they pay? They're going to pay back for 40 years. And they're guess what happens when they pay? When they, exactly. <laughs> but guess what happens when they pay? Everybody in here gets a piece, gets a piece of, it. of it. Because guess what? It's going back into your community. Right. Mm -hmm. It's going back it's into it's your pocket. It's mutual. It's mutual. Right. The interest is there. You know, but first of all,